on, come on. Wednesday's next. Have you ever found yourself discontented by those closest to you? Are you irked by their inability to heed simple requests? Such as, please don't come to my science fair. <laughs> She's talking about us. <laughs> Do you ever wish you could take their undesirable qualities and eliminate them forever? It can be done. Meet my Uncle Fester. Hello! That's my brother. Observe. <laughs> Stomach turning, isn't it? In stark contrast, however, is Socrates. Are you gonna eat that? This led me to ponder the question. What if personality traits could be extracted and implanted between creatures? Bottoms up. Welcome to this year's science fair. I'm excited to honor this group of brilliant minds we have before us. Let's pr proceed. And the winner is... Good luck. Uh -huh. Oh, you were serious. Everyone who participated! What? That's right. This year we are embracing a new philosophy. Just trying makes you a winner. But how can you be a winner if no one is a loser? Every single one of you is special. <laughs> Disagree. He's not special. Did you see his volcano? What was that, baking soda? Is this the third grade? It does not count. Great thinkers need obstacles to function. Yet, with every meaningless trophy, I become more and more unremarkable. And with every hug, more brain cells erode. But, like the phoenix from the ashes, I shall rise above this setback. Together, we shall turn heads, Socrates. Starting with Pugsley. Having fun. I'm staring at Canada, if that answers your question. I'm sorry, Wednesday. I know how much you wanted to see where girls your age were burned at the stake. What did you call them again? Squad goals. There's my little holy terror. You know how I feel about hugs, father. <sighs> Wednesday, let's uh, try a little family trust building exercise. I don't believe in exercise. Did Kitty do his business? Indeed. Come, come, join us. You were just telling stories of when Pugsley was born. He kept us up all night howling. <laughs> Wednesday, you were the opposite. I've never heard of a baby being completely silent before. Now this is the origin story an innovator like me deserves. It would make a fascinating first chapter in my memoir. Can you imagine? Hey, freak! Pass it back! <laughs> I'm not a freak. I'm a force of nature. Hi. What's your talent? I can read minds. <laughs> no, you can't. Yes, I, I can. can. No, this isn't really happening. It is really happening. Think of a number. Uh, number seven. Seven. <gasps> uh, purple. Purple. My worst nightmare. Hippopotamus riding a bicycle. What's your name? Wednesday. What's yours? I don't want to tell you. Hello, Peggy. I know. Just give me the trophy already.
real dead, Gomez. Are my ribbons tied? <laughs> Is my hair in place? Have I got a cute expression on my face? Are my shoes all shined? I try to keep in line when I'm dancing in the show tonight. Does my show girls I see here are perfectly normal. Showtime now is getting nearer and I'm getting scared. Uh, Wish I could see in the mirror uh, if I'm all prepared. First you take a step, then you point uh, your toe. Uh, Hope I know uh, it's like uh, I did a week ago. Am I standing straight? I can hardly wait. All of those do sound like great options, but which one is the road to Sausalito? No hide. I feel something lurch. As though anticipation and unease birthed some kind of winged larva in my stomach. Butterflies? Hmm. Perhaps my digestive acids will kill them. <laughs> 